fuel boots come in. Don't actually need much today. Just need a little bit more kindling. It's coming. Oh. <laughs> Here they come. They're so big. Yeah. They're so good at driving them though, aren't they? Thank you. I think that was our last fuel boat visit for the year. How weird is that? Big shout out to Kathy, Andrew and Emily. Thank you for keeping us warm. <laughs>
But Amy's adamant that we've got some on the boat. I know for a fact somewhere in this boat there is an entire roll about that thick of brown paper because we keep buying it every year thinking that we need more but we haven't. We've just tidied it somewhere away too well. Where is it then Amy? I don't know. I think it might be behind the sofa. What is behind here? Probably a lot of dupes poo, I'd imagine. It's not here. <laughs> Give me a torch. It's weird seeing down here. Is it mouldy? No. Oh, I'm There's genuinely so much more storage room potential though <laughs> that we should be maximising. We could store wrapping paper down there. There's loads of room. There's also an entire like six plug socket. We're only using one of them. Oh really? What could we plug in there? It's we could have a phone charger in there and then we'll always Ooh. have a phone charger wired up into the sofa. That's a good idea. Then we don't have to keep on plugging that. Oh wow! No, we're not doing DIY, we're doing <laughs> relaxing. I can't use the chopping board to chop them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tiny plate. That black. <gasps> what? Oh, I thought the, the wind was really picking up then, but it was just the train. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> well, are we actually going to eat that? I don't know. We should cart it all the way to Kezia's. Ooh. Maybe they won't want to eat it after watching the decorating video. <laughs> That's fair enough. Never mind! Oh no! That's too much to pick out. Disclaimer, Boat Dime does not endorse picking out mould because that's not technically how mould works. It's, let's pick it out. It's quite a large bit though. It Has it ran through? Let's check. No. Oh, whatever. I'll, I'll pixelate this bit so that people can't see what we're doing. Wow, I mean, it's so fortunate that you found two other muffins that don't have mould but do have slightly weird dimples on the back. Oh yeah, it's just how they make them, I think. <laughs> yeah, I burnt some. There, where's it? <laughs> Thanks, mate. Cheers. <laughs> you like the burned ones. I don't. There you go. Careful little seagull guy, he's just bobbing up and down on all the waves. <laughs> go duckies, go! <laughs> Whoa! Careful! They're making such a big wake. Excuse me. Is that take over? That was the lovely Kathy that just cruised past, but now we're thinking, should we steal her spot? <laughs> She's already moved twice. Should we move a third time? But we would be literally right next to Steve and Andy, and then it's just, if one of us heads out, it's nicer to be able to look after each other's boats. But this spot's perfectly fine. But there is a ring. I don't know. <sighs> is it worth the effort? We're already facing that way, so it would literally just be a case of bobbing it down. There's armco, no pins, oh, there armco? and there's storms. Maybe. I think it is. We need to run the engine anyway, so we might as well move it. <laughs> Put it under load for about two minutes. We can leave all the fenders and everything on. Yeah, literally. Oh, I'm not good at decision making, even when it's really small and inconsequential. It's literally, <laughs> both spots are really nice. Fine, yes. We're moving? I it's windy. I think so. Let's go. Here we go. We're doing it. What are you doing? Push the boat. Get on the boat! You push it there. I can't. This silly. Yeah. I'm gonna need to get through. 
We were literally saying we want a cozy day about 10 minutes ago. You'll never make us cozy. <laughs> Rather windy, isn't it? Jeez. We're like, we're back up Tidal Thames. Who wears? Not a single pip. I don't think you've used Armco since South Oxford two summers ago. What a treat. Oh, there's a lot of stinging in it. Oh dear. Get my arm is on fire. <laughs> get it on, get it on. Heave! Rox and then She can it take no more carbon. <laughs> it is better to be on Armco because there's just no risk of it coming undone with the wind and stuff. If it does, something's really gone wrong. <laughs> Big shout out for Dan for recommending this stretch because he was like, the towpath, the towpath is beautiful, come here. And it's been beautiful, so thanks Dan. Time to go out this Wes, calm down! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the winter version of our summer. <laughs> Rufus, get inside! Go on, in! In! Oh boy, what then, in? Go, go, go! Oh. What's the new view like? Just as nice. I think this house has really pretty lights on at night as well. Yeah. Lovely job, boy. We did it. Christmas spot number three. Secure. <laughs> My arm is hurting. Let me see. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that's a proper raised. Yeah, I've got quite a few stings on the old. The cow. The old cow. Run it under some tap with salt right. soap. Put soap on to get the sting out. It's in now already. Yeah, but you might as well try and help it. I'm kind of used to them now, to be honest. Like before, stinging nettle stings would really bother me. Now it's more just like, oh, that's annoying. <laughs> we're gonna have some caramelized onion hummus and some sweet potato pakoras. We're gonna put a YouTube video on, aren't we? Yeah. We're loving this super chill day, but the weather out there is very windy. I've done some Patreon stuff, just uploaded the video. Where's Zed a little nap on the sofa? With Rufus. There he is. And now we're gonna have a little bit of chill time. We're gonna film a video, which will be coming out for New Year. Then we're gonna chill and bake some cookies and stuff. But it's still chilled vibes all round. <laughs> Don't film, it's just broken up. What a mess. I'm aesthetically eating hummus. <laughs> oh dear. Yep. We're watching Max Fosh, one of our favourite YouTubers. With hummus. Should we film the thing? It is time. It is time. Testing, testing, I am testing the limits of technology. We're already now in this. Oh, Wes got a fancy little setup going. Wait. Ooh. Wes got a very fancy little <laughs> setup going. Um, and we're about to film the video. So you will see that on Friday. What? The Friday the 29th. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's right, isn't it? That's the plan. Yeah, oh, I mean, unless we decide to put it on like New Year's Eve or something. You'll see it around New You'll Year's Eve. You'll see it soon ish. <laughs> <laughs> but we're about to film that now. Ooh, see you soon. We're done. We're done. We're done filming it. That actually took a lot longer than it always takes a lot longer than it's we thought. It's dark now. Yeah. You turn this off and turn this off. 
We were like, oh yeah, we'll pop into <laughs> town after. <sighs> but yeah, hoping that that'll look good. We always like making that video, so looking forward to showing it to you all. I'm just a bit upset because I don't know if Dupes is going to be in the next one. Yeah, feeling a little bit emotional because we sign off and round off the year and we always have the pets with us. And Dupes is pretty old now and at some point it's just going to be me, you and Rufus. So I just got really emotional at the end. So if the end of the footage looks really awkward, it's because I was just crying while holding Dupes. <laughs> But he's alright right now. He's fine, yes. No need to worry. He's just... He's just a little old man. <sighs> you mean? These little pets don't know the, the stress they <laughs> cause us. It's really funny as well, because <laughs> he's still here. He's literally here right now, <laughs> and I'm just preemptively crying. <sighs> yeah. He's just been with me for 11 years of my life, which is like more than, almost more than half. Like, he's lived with me in most of my houses. Like, when I was single and I just, like, it was just me and dupes, like, I just love this little guy so much. You two have been together longer than me and you have. Mm. Hey, mate. Better way to cheer me up than <laughs> cassette run. <laughs> Lovely stormy evening. <laughs> Time for a <laughs> Christmas Elson run. Hooray! <laughs> ding dong, ding, them bells are playing loud and clear. Dong, ding dong, the same. Christmas cassettes. Oh yes. I think it says festivities like being able to use your freshly emptied toilet. This is an Elson coin. This is where it all goes. And that's basically a hose that you can use to rinse itself. And then there's normally a, a flush. That's the flush, I'm guessing. Is that the flush? Possibly. Pull it. Oh, pull it easy. But it's pretty simple. It's basically just a big toilet. And uh, it smells like one as well. It didn't leak, did it? Did it splash? I don't think it did. I don't think it got me. We've come to an Elson point and we're all just stood in the cold. <laughs> Why do I feel better? I feel happier now. <laughs> I think one's about a soul in an empty toilet. <laughs> Today is the winter solstice. So it's the shortest daylight day of the year, no? No. The shortest daylight day of the winter. It's going to get brighter from here. Go to where we're in. Um, doesn't know where we are. No, it doesn't. That's your phone. <sighs> Merry Christmas, an empty cassette. Oh, you can't do the fire, eh? You need a big m <laughs> <laughs> You can't even say it. <laughs> you need a big man to do the fire, do you? Turn around. Come here. What? Come here. So I can hear you over the sound of the Christmas bear on your bunny ears. <laughs> so you need a big man to do the fire, do you? <laughs> Well, 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 what have we got here? 
it's still going. I think it would be fine if you just left it and put a bit more kindling in. There you go, mate. Problem was you didn't have any fire in there. I could have got it going if I used our whole month's worth of kindling supply. Amy was trying to light it though, with like one bit of a kindling and no fire I was light. trying to be savvy. <laughs> Someone would have come round for you, I'd about file it. Oh, it's oh. a windy one. The oranges are dancing. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Absolutely not. I'm still not finished even in the out. That feels fair to me. Yes. No. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Katie dinner for dinner. Hell yeah. Two peas. Yeah. Chicken burgers? Yeah. What? Well, that should be it, but we have got some chicken dippers too. No, we should save them. We do actually need to use them though. I want them. <laughs> Oh, they're taking up loads of room. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, use them up. If you if you say use them up, <laughs> then it sounds more bad. We could be sensible and just have like half of them. We'll compromise and eat all. Of yeah, them. but then there's no point. There's only one, two, three, four. It'd only be three little chicken dippers each. That's not. Oh, that's not a meal. That's worth. a valid side. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, we should probably use them up for the best. Yeah. That's so heavy. We had an entirely chilled day because we ended up moving the boat and emptying our toilets. But that is probably a boater's version of a, a chilled day. But we are going to make some cookies. We got this kit from Aldi and it is Festive Jumper Biscuit Kit. Mickey and Minnie. It's one of those things that are accidentally vegan. Um, so it's perfect, so we're going to make them! First off I've got to nip Rufus out of the storm. You're <laughs> watching telly dips! Oh, watching oh. Scrooge! So cold out there. So nice and warm and toasty in here. The wind's also still really going for it, but luckily in our shiny new spot on the armpit. We're fine, we're not really hanging about or anything. Okay, if this and it's around. Scrooge is on, the animated version. Baking time! Yay! Step one. Line a baking tray with grease food paper. That's not going to be big enough. I don't know how many it means. Add the biscuit mix and butter into a bowl. Combine the ingredients until the mixture looks like breadcrumbs. Oh, don't mind Wes, he's just going... He's just going in our cupboard to get the bowl. So we've got the mixture. Little decorations, I love these things. I've retrieved the bowl. And what's this? That's the mix. Icing mixture and sprinkles. We probably might not be able to eat the sprinkles. Nothing. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, only use like beetroot and some fun stuff. Good on them because normally they've got things like shellac and beeswax in. Yay! Okay. Step one. Get the bowl. Bowl. Oh. We need 60 grams of butter. We do actually we do actually have a little set of scales, but I think it's really buried in the cupboard and we only need to measure one thing. Is so. that about 60 grams? Oh, hang on, wait. So this is 450. So we need roughly. Oh, a decent amount then, I'd say. Uh, 15. So we need about one ninth. A bit more than one ninth of that. <laughs> the whole tub. What do we think? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> what? 
you think was going to feels about 60 grams. Yeah. Yeah. We can always add a bit more if we need. Okay. <laughs> add the... Add the biscuit mix. Battery biscuit base. Mixy mix. I'm going to mix it a bit and then I'll use my hands. I've washed the coal off my hands. <laughs> if the mixer starts turning black, you didn't wash your hands well enough. What if we've used too much? Yeah, we'll just pop a bit of flour in, it'll be right. I'm pretty sure that our laser eye scales will have done a good job of measuring that. I don't know. It's it doesn't look very wet. It's very. It's not very red crummy. Oh, dear me. Hmm. Nearly there, chef. <laughs> it's not very bread crummy, admittedly. Until the mixture looks like bread crumbs. I don't think that's ever going to start looking like bread crumbs, is it? But it does say squeeze until it comes together as a. D <laughs> no. That's not some dough, is it, Amy? <sighs> Get the flour then. The proportions are going to be all off. Yes. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Get it off. <laughs> Pretty sure there's no bin weasels. Well, at least we've learned one thing today. We don't know how to eyeball 60 grams of butter. <laughs> We're just not. Uh, with baking, I have a big respect for people and the sheer amount of patience that you need. Because I just want to bang it all in and you have to follow a recipe quite precisely with baking. I spilled milk all over his hoodie. We're not cut out for this. You have to shake oat milk before you use it. And the, I shook it and the lid popped up and it went everywhere. <laughs> Baking's hard. Right, I've sorted out my milk saga and Amy's basically just finished it. <laughs> That's more like it. It looks like the milk explosion was a distraction and you've swapped the dough out for like a shop bought one. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> Please don't drop it. Oh! Amy! 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 Stop! Hot stop. potato, hot potato! Stop! Hot potato, hot potato! Don't, don't do it! Don't do it! I won't catch it! <laughs> Amy! Stop! I won't catch it! <laughs> I caught it and Amy's got it back now and now she's being sensible, aren't you? Yes, fine. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> oh, guys, I need this footage. Ta da! Now, we just need to cut out. Look, it comes with a little biscuit template. I don't want to do those shapes. I want to use our cookie cutters that we haven't ever used. The boys are just chilling watching Scrooge while chaos unfolds in the kitchen. <laughs> They're pretty used to it. So, we've got biscuit template from the back of the box. Then we've also got some actual cookie cutters. We've got assortment of circles, cream cookie edges, Christmas tree, gingerbread personnel. You can go away first! Giant reindeer. <laughs> I was going to take all our dough. And then we have understated heart. Yay! Just the work surface with a little flour. I've also pre washed my hands in <laughs> milk. On. <laughs> now you've gone. <laughs> Where's it? We need to offer these to friends and family. Don't use that. <laughs> right. Zero point five centimeters. You do the pound coin trick. You put a pound coin there, and that tells you how flat to roll it. Oh, go on then, nah. I want to see. Nah. 0 0.5, please. On it, chef! I'm watching <laughs> Still watching the bear. The bear. <laughs> Corner! Yes, chef! Behind! <laughs> nice rolling. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 Oh 
money is this supposed to make? Ten, but that was the original amount. Ten? To be fair, ten of these tiny little jumper cutouts. Oh, yeah. Oh! Yay! Look at him. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Put him on the sheet. Yay! <laughs> My go! Right. Can I do this one? <laughs> Take up all the dough. That's so big. Do the uh, size comparison to the original templates. Oh, yes. Easy, easy. Oh. <laughs> that noise they make? <laughs> it's a cow. Yay! Yay! Um, here we go, Christmas tree! Wes, did you do it in the most efficient way? That was actually not bad. <laughs> I try this at home. Amy is a trained professional. Yes, chef. <laughs> Ready? The big reveal? Whoa! Hey! Can we get another big one out so there's no squabbling? <laughs> it's wise. There we go. Here's the tour. We've got two ginger people, two reindeer, two jumpers, two trees, two moons, two hearts, two circles. Where's added smiley in? And where's is called this long boy? <laughs> there we go. We have to put them in, but our chips are in there. This is a bit more epic than I thought. <laughs> What you doing? We're setting up for activity two of the night. Christmas movie bingo! So our good friends Rob and Isabel, who are fellow boaters, came up with Christmas movie bingo, which is absolutely brilliant. And it's basically a list of a load of cliche things that happen in those kind of cheesy hallmark Christmas movies. So there's things like someone shakes a gift, everyone claps, uh, Fake phone call. Yeah, Santa disguised as a pedestrian. <laughs> but they're really good. So what we do is we do like a three by three grid. We randomly pick nine of these each. And then whoever crosses off all nine first wins. Okay, my first one is on page five. On row two. Five minute plot wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is... Christmas lights don't function. Yeah, classic. <laughs> Last one for my sheet. Someone whips up a quick website. <laughs> and your last one... Yeah. ...is... Someone changes their mind at the airport. <laughs> We've got our sheets. We're going to get the dinner out, the cookies on, and let's play... Cheesy Christmas Movie Bingo! <laughs> Too hot in the boat. <laughs> we've had the oven on, the hob on, and we've made the stove too hot. But the cookies are going in! There we go. Yay! Oh. <sighs> Here we go! Nice Christmassy dinner. Well, Amy, I don't think we needed to use the entire thing of chips and the little chicken wings. They didn't fit in the fridge. We've had one of those classic days though where we've sort of not really eaten that much. We had the muffins in the morning and I think that was about it. So we do end up eating quite a lot for dinner. It balances out. <laughs> to a successful-ish relaxing day with no drama at all. Yay! <laughs> okay. We've got our bingo sheets. We've got our bingo dabbers. And now we just set Hallmark and then... Roll and say stop. Say stop. stop. A kind hearted Christmas. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Straight in with the cheese. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh. We've just been. Oh, they're fine? They're not even. 
We've been frantically trying to sort tomorrow out. You'll find out what that is. And then Amy just ran up because the new little chicken egg timer that we bought, we bought it because our old one stops dinging. It ticks, but it doesn't ding. And the new one, after one use, also does that. I think they're all right. A few more minutes. Whew. Okay, we thought they were burning, basically. Oh. Today. That just warms your heart. What a beautiful Bad story. graphic design! <laughs> Bad graphic design! That is awful. During the holiday season, I love that. And I hear they're famous. Mom. And a red coat. Red coat. Red coat or dress. We're only a few minutes in and Amy's already got three. <laughs> Someone doesn't celebrate Christmas after what happened. <laughs> We've done it again. We forgot about the cookies. Chicken guy. Oh no, long boy's gone. Long boy's gone? on the floor, but it's fine. That's fine. I think they're done. Yeah? <gasps> Ooh. Do you think? They're not supposed to be brown, are they? Oh, wait, they're a little bit soft. Mm -hmm. Or do they just harden as they cool? Where's the spot of line? Got a motivational quote. I got a motivational quote. Red dress or coat. And someone hangs up without saying goodbye. <laughs> One of them is introductive yeah. interrupted kiss. <laughs> and one of them as well is uh, random carol singing. <laughs> oh, come on, kiss! It's time to decorate our little cookies. Uh, we've learned absolutely nothing from this and Amy's trumped it with the icing. Where's ma one, <laughs> where's made it really runny. I didn't mean to. And two, he put it in this glass. <laughs> Out of all of the glasses and stuff we've got, in the least convenient one possible. I looked at my back for a second. I didn't mean to, and three, I gave the icing sugar back to bears earlier and it's quarter past ten at night, so I can hardly go back and ask for it back. So, we're gonna make do. It's gonna just drizzle. We'll just have to go steady. Like a glaze. Mm. More of a glaze. That's what I was going for. Oh, mm. artistic choice, was it? Yes. Just try and decide which one to taste test. I say long boy. Amy, for some reason, has got it in for long boy, saying <laughs> that he's just the leftover bit. But I think this is an artisanal, <laughs> handcrafted... I don't know. May I? <laughs> I bet it doesn't. Mm. Yeah? Does it actually taste nice? I thought it was going to taste like a breadstick, but it's sweet. <laughs> I feel like it should be sweeter if we haven't completely messed up the ratio by going overboard with the butter. I like oh. it though. Right, let's decorate. Oh, she's, she's going from a height. That's. Oh, wow, what did you think? I thought you were still basically going to do that. Oh. Just on all of them. Get a spoon then. <laughs> I don't think cookies looking wet is a desirable characteristic, is it? Where's... Why did you... Why didn't you... <laughs> I'm not a baker. <laughs> really? <laughs> right, you're not seeing the result now. I'm not going to show you the cookies. You can just watch us putting things on the cookies and then we'll show you the big reveal in one. Okay. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Do we have to show them? <laughs> Let's just keep this one quiet. The ginger. <laughs> Gingerbread house. In comparison, it looks like a professional in it. Okay, we'll I thought that was a logical place to put it. And then you looked at it and you went, ew. We'll both pick our favourites. Okay, here we go. This is Amy's favourite one. <laughs> It's 
It's Mickey and Minnie. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and here comes Wesley's favourite. This is the smiley face one. I like think it actually turned out quite well. <laughs> I call this one too, <laughs> too much Christmas. <laughs> My second favourite one, <laughs> simply called Thigh Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one that Amy said, I can't fit it on. Oh god, there's so many sprinkles. <laughs> It'll just have to go on his thigh. <laughs> Wait, have you got the box to show what they should look like? Oh, expectations. This is reality. <laughs> you definitely can't see the icing. Thanks to Wes. Apart from that, and maybe we shouldn't have brought our own cookie cutters out. I think we should have stuck with the jumper provided in the kit. No, Wes, because the Christmas trees would have been so cute if they had icing on them. I'm pretty proud of them. What do people reckon is more successful? The festive cookies or the gingerbread manor? The icing's all sort of gathered at the bottom now. Which one would you like with your cup of tea? Hmm. I can't bring myself to eat my favourites yet, so I'm going to start with a moon with barely. <laughs> <laughs> you can count, there's got five <laughs> sprinkles on it. I'll have the tiny moon. <laughs> Because we're quite full from dinner. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> Got our cookies now. We can carry on with our Christmas can... movie bingo. Cheers. They're meant to be crunchy, though. It's really hard. <laughs> it feels like I'm chewing rubble. Here we go. You never keep secrets from me. A complete 180 by a character! <laughs> nice. Just, um, I'm a little surprised hearing that come from you. We've got a question for anyone who's not from England, specifically American viewers. Do you not have Christmas crackers? Like, do you not know what they are? Look at this! Another Morris family tradition right here. These are Christmas crackers from England. Okay. So you go, <laughs> you go in here and you find the little tabs and then on the count of three, everybody pulls at the same time. You got them? Okay, you ready? Look, here we go, one, two, three. <laughs> they did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't how you do them. You don't deliberately try and find the tab and you don't pull them on your own. You're supposed to pull, you're supposed to basically pick someone and pull it with them and whoever gets the bigger bit gets the thing inside. But is it just us that has that? Yeah, I thought that everyone had that. Yeah. My favourite Christmas cracker joke ever. What? Uh, you better include this. Why didn't the crisps catch the bus? I don't know, Amy. Why did the crisps not catch the bus? Because they were walkers! <laughs> <laughs> You don't even know how many times we've heard that. <laughs> well, there we go. What's the scores? I got a four. I got five! Oh, well done. That was fun. <laughs> oh, it's been like a really nice day, hasn't it? We have something very exciting to show you. We have the cutest little gift. It's a hand carved out of wood. Gregory's girl. It's a mini Gigi. I can't <laughs> believe it. It was made by Doodle Mouse Dave. Thank you so, so, so much, Dave. I just can't believe it. Look, even like the detail on the crotch cover windows. We're definitely going to put it on the shelf all year round, but for now, pride of place on the Christmas tree. Yay. Next to Parsnip Guy. <laughs> He also made a really cute animation of us, which we'll put at the end credits. And it's just so cute. We love it so much. So thank you again.
Thank you to everyone for watching this episode of Vlogmas. We've got something exciting planned for tomorrow, yes. so stay tuned for that and hit subscribe and the notification bell so you know when that one goes live. Massive shout out to our wonderful chip pals over on Patreon. And of course, for the bags of chips today, we've got Lizzie and Brian, Keith, Dennis and Anita, and Debbie and Mike. And also a massive thanks for the super thanks today from John and Maria from Rough Paddling. Thank you so much, guys. And on that note, I feel like I always say on that note, yeah. but on that note, we wish you good night. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst one yet. I'm so tired. <laughs> night. Night, everyone. See ya.